we grew up with this, where the elders have oral storytelling concerning water and animals and plants and society and how we are supposed to conduct ourselves and behave in and uh, taking care of water because it's essential for our, our village and our, and our culture. We are a nation within a nation, and we constantly have problems with water rights and people trying to uh, take away the, the, the amount of water that we use for agriculture, home use, and other necessities. The Conservancy is not allowed to um, shut down the, the Pueblo water because it's uh, it's in the treaty, and so the what they call the Middle Rio Grande uh, Conservancy District is not allowed to regulate the water because of drought or because of something else. They are mandated to conduct the water to the pueblo here, so much water per day, per summer, and then in the winter time they shut it off. I was raised on the farm, I'd say, uh, for up to when I graduated from high school. Then I ran, ran away from home because I didn't want to farm and do uh, cattle and horses and went into my profession. And when I retired, guess what I'm doing? I'm back to the to what my grandfather and my father were doing and I inherited all this work. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more enjoyable now because I don't have to depend on it like they did. With me, I just, uh, I enjoy doing it. And I don't know what's happening with this weather system that's gone haywire. And even though our people, we dance for rain, we dance for moisture. That's how our whole culture is based on water to... Uh, uh, for Mother Nature to, to get its replenishment of water. But nothing is happening. 